Hey everybody, this is me making a video of the answer key that I'm putting together for this worksheet right here, which is really blurry. And there we go, now it's not. And feel free to just fast forward to whatever question you might want to see explained. And here we go, chapter seven and eight, test practice. And this pencil is not sharp enough for my liking. All right, number one. 3 to the x plus 5 is equal to 27. I just changed that to 3 to the x plus 5 is equal to 3 to the 3. So x plus 5 is equal to 3. So x is equal to negative 2. Done. Number 2. 1 third to the power of x is equal to 27 x minus 1. And that's like saying 3 to the negative 1 times x is equal to 3 to the 3 the x minus 1. I have I realize that I have the same base of 3 on both sides of the equation. Okay, power of a power means that you s multiply those exponents together. So it's going to be 3 times x minus 1. So negative x is equal to 3x minus 3. Negative 4x then is equal to negative 3 and x is equal to 3 quarters. I guess I should underline answers maybe, eh? All right, there's one and two. Number three, ah, log problem. Log to the base two of x plus one um, plus log to the base two of x is equal to log to the base two of six. Maybe I should kind of cut that off so that I don't get them mixed up. There we go. All right, so I have an add, which in logarithms I can change to a multiply. And now I have a, an equation that's log to the base 2 on both sides, so I'll anti-log both sides of the equation. And now that gives me this. So x squared plus x is equal to 6, which means x squared plus x minus 6 is equal to 0. Now I'm doing grade 11 quadratics. That's x plus 3, x minus 2 is 0. So x is negative 3, or x is 2 and um, negative 3 is extraneous because the argument can't be a negative and if I put negative 3 in there I'd say log to the base 2 of negative 2 you could times 2's together all day you'd never get negative 2 so the only answer that makes sense is x equals 2 and number 4 is also a log equation let's see so it's log to the base 5 of 3x plus 1 plus log to the base 5 of x minus 3 is equal to 3. Okay, so same trick. Log to the base 5 of 3x plus 1 and x minus 3 um, is equal to 3. Oh, it's not quite the same trick. This side isn't a log, so I have to now change this to an exponential equation. So 5 is the base, 3 is the exponent, and that is equal to 3x plus 1 and x minus 3. And uh, let's see, 5 to the 3 is 125. And on this side, I get 3x squared uh, minus 9x plus 1x. So that would be minus 8x. And 1 times negative 3 is negative 3. OK, it's a quadratic, so move everything to one side. Then I get 3x squared minus 8x minus 128 is, uh, it, oh, I already have equal zero. Um, I don't think, oh man, what two numbers? Three times 128 would equal, I don't even know. And then I'd have to, oh, you know what? I'm not gonna factor this. I'm just gonna break up the quadratic equation. Life's too short for this one. So minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus four times a times c all over two a. And so I think if I gave you a question this nasty, I would let you use a calculator. So let's see, 64 minus 4 times 3 times negative 128 is actually, oh, that's a perfect square. You know what? This would have factored because that's a perfect square. So the square root of that answer is 40. Yeah, you know what? This actually would have factored. So it's x plus or minus 40 over 6. Again, the negative would probably not make any sense. Um, because the you can't have a negative argument, so I'm not even going to bother with the negative. I'm just going to say that that's 48 over 6, so x would equal um, 8. Cool. 
And let's see, does 8 make sense? That'd be 24 and 1 is 25. Log to the base 5 of 25 is 2. And that'd be 8 minus 3 is 5. Log to the base 5 of 5 is 1. 2 plus 1 is 3. Yep, it works. Yay! Oh, sorry. Can't even see my answer there. Oh, sorry. I'll slow down a bit. Um, all right, so that was number 4. I should probably use a new page for number 5. It's probably going to take a little bit of work here. Sharpen my pencil a bit. All right, number five. Number five is six to the power of x is equal to ten to the x minus one. Okay, so these need to be logged on both sides. Change of base rule. So log to the base six of x is equal to the log of ten to the x minus one. Uh, in an equation that's in logarithms, exponents become coefficients. And log of 10 is just 1, right? So log to the base 10 of 10 is just 1. So that's x log 6 is equal to basically x minus 1. So I'm going to um, have to move the two x's together. So that's x log 6 minus x is equal to negative 1. I'm going to factor out the x. And x then is going to equal negative 1 over the log of 6 minus 1. That we need a calculator for. I don't know what the log of 6 is off the top of my head. So negative 1 divided by open a bracket. Log of 6 minus 1, close my bracket, equals 4.50. I'll round it to three places. 4.508. And I could do a check on that, but I'm pretty confident I did it right. Number 6. Ooh, crazy exponents. Two. Okay, man, careful now. That x is the power of the six. The six is the base. The two is not the base. The two is a coefficient. Keep that in mind. That's going to be important. Oh boy, that's gonna. Okay, we're gonna have to log both sides of that. So that's gonna be the log of all this stuff. Oops, I meant to make a square bracket there. <laughs> Equals the log of five to the x plus one. Okay. So, um, step one is that this multiply in a log equation can become an add. So it's log of two plus, and then remember that x is only on the six, so that's x log six is equal to x plus one log five. Unlike the last equation where there was a nice 10 I could play with, there's nothing here I can simplify. So I'm gonna have to expand that side. So that's log of two plus x log six is equal to x log 5 plus log 5. Okay, two terms have x's, so they have to be brought together. They're like terms, so x log 6 minus x log 5. And then the two constants are going to be on the other side, so that'll be log 5 minus log 2. And then I factor an x out and divide, so that's log of 5 minus log of 2 all over log of 6 minus log of 5. And that's as simple as I can make it without touching my calculator. So now I punch buttons like a trained monkey. Let's see, we can go open a bracket, log of 5, minus the log of 2, close the bracket, divide, open the brackets, log of 6, minus log of 5, close the bracket, open the bracket, and I get 5.02, I'll round it to 6. Okay. So there's the first six questions. Then starting at number seven, there's a question that is in parts. So let's just do the parts here. All right, 7a is 9 to the x plus 3 is equal to 3 times 3 to the x minus 1. OK, that's 3 to the 3 to the x plus 3. And that's uh, 3. I'll just copy that one for now. OK. So I add exponents here, so this is going to, or no, sorry, I multiply exponents, so that's 3x plus 9. And over here I add exponents, so that's going to be 1 plus x minus 1, which is just going to be 3 to the x. So 3x plus 9 is equal to x, 2x is equal to negative 9, x is equal to negative 9 halves. Um, does that even make sense? I don't know. Should I check that answer? That is a that is not the answer I was expecting. Um, let's see. Uh, 
Hmm. Did I goof something up? Maybe I did. Let's see. Um, three. Oh, yes, I did. Oh, my goodness. Three to the three is nine. That is inexcusable, people. My apologies. That should be 2x plus 2. So this would actually be... Oh, i got to just erase all this. Oh, it's a good thing I used pencil. Took till the seventh question till I goofed one up. That's not too bad. Okay, so let's see. That's 2x plus 2 is equal to x. And um, that's still not getting me an answer I like. It's getting me x is negative 2. x equals negative 2. All right, I still don't know if I like that answer. I'm going to check it. 9 to the 1 is equal to 3 times 3 to the negative 3. That's not 9. No, nope, something else is wrong here. we got to figure something out here. Did I? Okay, first step. Did I copy it wrong? x plus 3, 3, x plus minus 1. 9 is 3 squared. Oh, yes, I did. I still have a mistake. That should be a 6. There we go. That's a mistake. I knew I should have made this video last night when I was not so tired. Okay, there we go. So x is equal to negative 6. Is it negative 6? I guess so, yeah. Negative 6. And that actually does work. I can tell that's actually going to work. So that's going to be 9 to the negative 3 equals 3 to the negative 7, right? So that's 1 over 9 to the 3 is equal to um, 3 over 3 to the um, 7, which is 1 over 9 to the 3, which is equal to um, 1 over 3 to the 6, because that's a 1, and I can cancel one of these 3s with one of those 3s. And yeah, those are actually the same thing, because that's 1 over 3 squared cubed, and that is equal to 3 to the 6. There we go. Got the right answer now. Sorry about that, folks. All right, let's try not to make quite so many mistakes now. B. Oh, B is a natural log question. The natural log of x minus 3 is equal to 4. OK, we're going to change that into an exponent equation. So that means the base of e to the power of 4 is equal to x minus 3. And x then is equal to um, e to the power of 4 plus 3. And I think we want a decimal for that. Yep. Let's see. So we want, remember how to find e in your calculator? I'll do this slowly for you. Second function, there's e. And look at that. It's already in power mode, which is good. So e to the power of 4 um, plus 3 is going to equal, should be 50 something, I think. Yep. 57 point, um, I guess, 598. I'll round it to three places again. All right, so there's 9a and 9b. Oh, oops, didn't mean to put a line there. That's all one question. OK, there we go. Uh, so that's 7a, 7b. <laughs> 7c. All right, let's see, we've got e to the x minus 2 is equal to 4. I'm going to take the natural log of both sides of this equation. And then that's x minus 2, be, right? Exponents become coefficients. And the ln of e is just 1. So x minus 2 is equal to the ln of 4. And x is equal to the ln of 4 plus 2. Now we punch buttons. The natural log of 4 plus 2. And I get 3.386. And D. Hmm. Uh, let's see. What does D say? D is another natural log problem. A natural log of x cubed is equal to 12. In a log equation, exponents become coefficients. And then I divide both sides by 3. And then I uh, just change this then to um, the base of e to the power of 4 is equal to x. So I can just punch that as e to the power of 4 is 
And I know this number already, 54 or something, right? 54.598. And nine, seven, where are we? E, okay, now we're getting more lawns. The lawn of x plus two is equal to three. I'm just gonna straight up change that to um, e to the power of three is equal to x plus two. x is equal to e to the three minus two. And so let's see, um, e to the three minus two. 18.086. Okay, so that's 7e, 7f. The lawn of the lawn of x is equal to 0. So basically, um, I can, uh, let's see, what, what am I going to do with this thing? I'm going to change this to uh, an exponential equation. So I'm going to say that that's uh, e to the power of 0 is equal to the ln of x, right? Because that's the exponent, the ln's the base, and this is the argument. Well, e to the power of 0, like anything to the power of 0 is 1, so 1 is equal to the ln of x. So now I'm going to go back to an exponential equation. Uh, e to the power of 1 is equal to x, so e is basically the answer here. I could probably just say that the answer is e. Well, let's see, I don't know, this, this, could I do that? I don't know, probably wants a decimal, eh? Eh, whatever. E could be my answer, or 2.718, blah, blah, blah. Okay, whatever. G, is there a G? There is a G. Oh, this one's ugly looking. E to the 1 minus 2x is equal to 2. And um, let's see, what am I going to do with that? Um, I guess I'm going to take the natural log of both sides. So 1 minus 2x, ln of E is equal to the ln of 2. Ln of E is 1, so 1 minus 2x is equal to the ln of 2. So negative 2x is equal to the ln of 2 minus 1. x is equal to the ln of 2 minus 1 over negative 2. All right, we'll punch buttons and see what that turns out to be. The open a bracket, ln of 2 minus 1, close the bracket, divide by negative 2. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, pollen season. And 0.153 or so. So I guess I'll just round it to three places. 0.153, fairly confident that that's the right answer. I could check it, but I think I did that right. And is there an H? Yes, there is. There's an H and there's an I. H is e to the ln x equals four. Again, I'll take the log of both sides. So the log of x times the ln of e is equal to the ln of four. And the ln of e is one, so the ln of x is equal to the ln of four, that's a ln. And then anti ln both sides, and x is four. Um, uh, let's see, that would be i now. Oh, this is a long one, okay, so i, we've got um, the ln of two x minus one, minus two times the ln of x is equal to zero. Okay, well, let's see, let's uh, let's sharpen the pencil for this one. Okay, first of all, in a ln equation, I can turn uh, a coefficient into an exponent. Then I can turn a um, subtract into a divide. And then what I can do is I can change this to an exponential equation. So my base is e, my exponent is 0, and I get 2x minus 1 over x squared. I'll just continue over here. So that's anything to the power of 0 is 1. I'll cross multiply, I'll times both sides by x squared. I'll move everything to the other side. And that gives me x um, minus 1 squared equals 0, so x minus 1 equals 0 when I square both sides. So x equals 1. I should probably check to see if that's extraneous, huh? Um, let's see. If I had 2 minus 1, I'd have ln of 1 minus... The, yeah, that works. Ln of 1 minus 2 times the ln of 1. So there we go. Okay. All right. On to number 8. And a number eight, more exponentials. One third to the x minus one. 
times 81 to the x plus 1 is equal to 1 over 27. Yikes, he says. Okay, this is, I'm going to go for a base of 3. That's a power of 3, that's a power of 3, that's a power of 3. So I'm going to go 3 to the negative 1 to the x minus 1 times 3 to the 4, right? Because 9 times 9 is 81 and, and 9 is 3 times 3 to the power of x plus 1 is equal to 3 to the minus 3. Okay, I gotta get all this as one power of three, so that's gonna be three to the negative x plus one, because I'm timesing that, and then times three to the four x plus four is equal to three to the minus three. Then I'm gonna add those, because when you multiply two powers, you add their exponents, if they have the same base, which they do. So that's three to the four plus negative one is three x, four plus one is five, is equal to 3 to the minus 3. So I can now say 3x plus 5 is equal to negative 3. 3x is equal to negative 8. x is equal to negative 8 thirds. And I don't know if I did that right or not, but looks good. I'll keep it. B. Log to the base 2 of x minus 2 plus log to the base 2 of x plus 2 is equal to 2. In a log equation, I can turn adds into multiplies. Oh, I forgot my base. And then I can change that into an exponential equation. So the base of 2 to the power of 2 is equal to x minus 2 times x plus 2. Conjugate pairs makes a difference of squares. And then I'm going to add 4 to both sides, so x squared is equal to 8. So x would equal to um, the square root, plus or minus the square root of 8. Now, the negative square root of 8 doesn't make sense because you can't have a negative argument in a log. So that's just going to be the positive square root of 8. Might as well simplify that. That's 2 root 2. There we go. There's 8a, 8b. C. We've got 2 ln 2x equals the ln of 4 plus the ln of x plus 2. All right, I'm going to take this 2 and make it an exponent. And then I'm going to make the add into a multiply. And then I'm going to anti-ln both sides of the equation. So 2x squared equals 4. 4 times x plus 2. Um, actually, now that I think about it, should there be a bracket there? Mm, yeah, I think there should. Yes, there should. I'm going to say that there should. We'll check our answer when we're done. 4x squared is equal to 4x plus um, 8. We just divide everything by 4, so x squared is equal to 2x plus 2. So, oh, that's not gonna that's not gonna be a nice answer, is it? Did I goof something up here? Let's let's double check. Maybe I goofed something up. 4 log of 4, that's 4x squared. That doesn't look like it. Looks like we've got this right. Okay. So that's going to be x squared minus 2x minus 2 is equal to 0. And I don't even know if that's going to solve without anything except maybe the quadratic formula. Hmm. So this is... Uh, hmm. Just thinking out loud here. Uh, okay. Hmm. Something, I think something's off here. Let's see. Did I copy it wrong? 2 ln 2x ln 4 ln x plus 2. 4 times x plus 2. Ln of 2x squared. 2x squared is 4x squared. Um, 4 times x plus 2 is 4x plus 8. But then I divide everybody by 4, so that becomes a 1. That becomes... Oh, there we go. That's the mistake right there. I knew this was working out wrong. Haha. <laughs> 4 divided by 4 is 2. There we go. That's better. Erase that. Dun -dun -dun. There. I think that factors. x minus 2. x plus 1. 
and then x is equal to 2, x is equal to negative 1. There we go. And the negative 1 doesn't make sense because it would make a negative argument, so the only answer that works is 2. That's extraneous. There we go. Um, 8d. e to the ln of 11 is equal to 2x minus 1. I'm going to take the natural log of both sides here. So the ln of 11 times the ln of e is equal to the ln of 2x minus 1. And the ln of e is just 1. So I'm going to anti-ln both sides. So 11 is equal to 2x minus 1. Uh, add 1 to both sides. 12 is equal to 2x. x is equal to 6. Okay. e. And e is e to the 2x plus 1 is equal to 3. So I'm going to take the natural log of both sides of the equation. That's just 1. So 2x plus 1 is equal to the ln of 3. x is equal to the ln of 3 minus 1 over 2. That i got to punch buttons for. The natural log of 3 minus 1 equals divided 2 equals 0 0.049. Uh, maybe we need to put another decimal on there. What's the next thing? A 3. Good enough. There we go. Okay, so there's E and let's see, F. Okay, 8F. 8F says 2 to the x minus 1 is equal to 5. It's 3 to the 2x. All right, what am I going to do with that? I'm going to take the log of both sides is what I'm going to do. So that's going to be x minus 1 times the log of 2 is equal to the log of 5 plus x log of, oh, sorry, 2x. That would have been a mistake, log of 3. There we go. So there it is as a log equation. Now I need to collect like terms. So I'm going to have to expand that. So that's x log 2 minus log 2 equals log of 5 plus 2x log 3. Okay, that term has a log with an x. That term has an x. So those are like terms. So x log 2 minus 2x log 3 is equal to the log of 5 plus the log of 2. All right. Factor out x, and I get x equals log of 5 minus log, oh sorry, it's a plus, log of 2 all over. So that's this side. And then when I factor x, I get log of 2 minus 2 log 3. So log of 2 minus 2 times the log of 3. And we get a punch button for that. So let's make sure we do this carefully. We'll use brackets. Open a bracket. The log of 5 plus the log of 2, close brackets, divide, open a bracket. The log of 2 minus 2 times the log of 3, close brackets, hit equals negative 1.531. There we go. Okay, so that was number 8. And I'm going to stop there. I'll do the word problems in uh, its own video.